So what exactly is elder law and estate planning? Well, first of all, there's a common misconception that unless we're very wealthy, we don't have to worry about estate planning. That is not true at all. All of us have to have some kind of estate plan to make sure that when we are no longer here, that our wishes are carried out. And when I say our wishes are carried out, we want to make sure that if we have young children, that they're protected, that there's money to take care of them, that there are people to take care of them. If we're, we have older children, we want to make sure that they're protected. If we have older children and have special needs, we want to make sure that those needs are addressed. So in one way or another, we all have to have some kind of estate plan. Without an estate plan, when we die, our property will just be distributed according to the laws of the particular state, which may or may not be what you would want to have happen with your property. For example, if you did not name someone as the executor of your estate, the court will decide who is going to be the executor, who is going to administer them, who is going to be the guardian of your children. The list goes on and on. So regardless of our wealth, status, or standing, it's important that all of us have some sort of an estate plan. Now when we talk about elder law, essentially elder law is no different than an estate plan for a younger person. The only difference is that when we talk about elder law, we're talking about certain concerns and needs of an older person that are not the concerns of a younger person. For example, when we talk about elder law, we're concerned with protecting the money that we've earned to make sure that if we have a serious medical catastrophe, it's not all going to be lost. So essentially, that is what we mean by estate planning and elder law.